What's up guys, Delicious Baba Ganoush here, and today we're playing as Aatrox in the top lane. Some of you may have actually seen this build in Worlds already, and that build, well, it's actually a normal Aatrox build, but they changed the runes is what they did. So people have actually begun to, begun to start taking, began, begun, begotten, started. They started taking um, Arcane Comet on this champion because your Q is, you know, very good at being a knockup if you hit him with the sweet spot, which will guarantee a Comet hitting them. Um, it's more poke because they did buff Scorch as well. Oh, well, you know what? I say it's a guarantee and then my Comet misses. Egg on my face. <laughs> But the reason people are doing this build in some games, they aren't doing it in all the games. And normal, like if 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 this were a ranked game, I wouldn't actually run this build versus a Garen. Um, no way, no way would I run this build versus a Garen. Because <clears throat> one of the big reasons that you use it is whenever it's lanes that you know aren't gonna be having drawn out fights like at all because if you're gonna have drawn out fights then yeah your conquer is gonna be better but in a lot of cases because of Aatrox's current build right now going like Eclipse into um Cleaver and Cyrilda's and all that jazz it, you end up usually just bursting a lot of people before your conquer is even fully stacked so it's kind of interesting that people have started doing this. Actually, the more I think about it, the more that I realize that Garen is probably somehow like one of the worst lane matchups for me to do this build. <laughs> because <laughs> this dude busts out of my slow from my W, so I can never W him. My extra poke from Arcane Comet is irrelevant because he's Garen and he also silences me so I can't ever want man all right let's see if I can just pull off the impossible then let's see if I can just pull off the impossible because if I can if I can do this then well that's just great eh, there he is I knew Talon was topside because I actually saw him over here when um, my teammate busted the scrying orb. So we knew that that dude was up here. At least. I actually probably could have died there. Now that I think about it. He may have been able to get like a flash auto cue off on me and killed me. Very cool that he didn't. I don't really. Okay. Oh, got him. Look at the poke. It's the poke, baby. All right, use my passive auto attack, the Deathbringer stance to uh, miss every single minion. That's actually its hidden effect, by the way. If you have your Deathbringer stance up or have recently used it, you just miss every minion. It's... Everyone hates it. <laughs> so, if Garen chose to do that at, like, any other time than when... You know, I had a large wave. That play actually probably works for him. Um, but because he did it when I had such a large minion wave, he was tanking my minion wave. Oh, wait, what? My E wasn't up? Shoot. But still, bust the ignite, get him with it, hit him with some buttons, beat him up with the help of my minions, and we get a kill. I like that. I do and do... Or I do in do. I do indeed like that. So grab my serrated and get boots. I 
there are some people that don't agree with this. There are some people that really don't agree with this. But personally, I find boots to be one of the most important things on Aatrox. Like, you know, there's a lot of champions that boots are really good on, obviously. But on Aatrox specifically, since so much of your damage and skill expression and all of this stuff, like how good your champion performs is so based around you know being able to hit stuff properly right like that's just all there is to it i'm, I'm taking this garen don't try and stop me so if i can have the availability to move faster and either get in range to use my combo and beat them up or if i can you know just outrun people or anything like that that's well, that's just all fantastic Wait, this is actually, like, wrecking him now. Excuse me? Pardon? Also, I just want to say, like, complete total side note here. Um, it made me really happy that there was a goofy Aatrox build going around. Because... For some literal literally no reason. No reason whatsoever. But I've just been wanting to play this champion lately. Uh, let's see. Got that out of him. <laughs> uh, no living for you, brother. That's a very easy dive for me to go for, like, every single time. And since he doesn't have teleport, not only do I get the kill, or the kill gold for killing him, obviously, I also get two turret plates here, which is another kill's worth of gold. So this dude's about to start falling very rapidly far behind. And that is a siege wave. Garen pushes waves really, really fast, though, so... I might not be able to get back here in time to do it perfectly... F it. Double F it, by the way. I'm going full damage. Rampage. Full big dickus. So, usually you go tank boots on this champion. Such as plated knee breaker, steel caps, ninja tabai. Or mercurial scimitars built into boots. But, I choose Master Yi feet. So, now I will be I mean, effectively attacking faster, right? Because I have a bunch more ability haste. So it's it's kind of like attacking faster as Aatrox. Because, I mean, after all, isn't that literally the only thing Aatrox can do? Is Q? He doesn't have any other abilities. Not last I checked. Oh, I thought he was going to walk up to me. He big-brained me. How much damage has my combat done already? 363, that's not bad. And my Scorch has already done 204 as well. Uh, you know what? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. No! Oh, I was hoping so badly that I would be able to get that. I can Rumble win this? Why would you use your stopwatch when you get your shield? Oh my god, Rumble, that was... You would have killed him. You overheated and you just would have beat him up. <laughs> Honey buns, no. Oh, you hate to see it. You really do. It's okay, brother. The blizzard. Blizzard buffalo always forgives. There we go. Alright, whatever. It's all good. I'm still... Still... Oh my... Oh my god. Oh my god. I just saw my CS. That's atrocious. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm sorry that you have to see this. Oh, this fool. 
He's buying healing reduction. Now see, under normal circumstances, a lot of people would say that's a very good idea, including myself. But, well, on top of the fact that the item is just really good on Garen, because Garen uh, loves movement speed, right? He loves the movement speed that it pro provides, and the way is, uh, what's that called? Mortal Reminder? The way Mortal Reminder works is to get your full value out of your uh, Grievous Wounds effect, you actually have to hit people three times. And Garen, turning into a Beyblade, generally hits people three times pretty quickly. Um, so that part of the item happens relatively fast, actually. Boom! What? That wasn't in his sweet spot. Bye bye. <laughs> nice one, Rumble. Nice one. And now he's gonna break this whole top turret with me. I love that. My man. Now that that's the kind of play that absolutely makes up for silly stuff like what happened earlier absolutely i mean not that he had to make up for anything but you know if he did like if i was if i was a really angry league player holding a grudge or something man you know there would be there would be hell to pay if he did that to me but he did the homie maneuver we got the kill top and then he used the herald we break the first turret Everything is all hunky dory. So, three, one, and one. Dude, Draven's popping off. Everybody's popping off. I guess Bottling Saw has died a lot, though. So, I guess they're just super scrapping. I was looking at the kills. I was like, how are, the, how are is, how is all of us popping off, but the kills really don't like look that far apart? Bruh. Yeah. Oh. I do so much damage, but it's just ever so slightly not enough to kill the minions with my third babong bonk. <sighs> and for the build, uh, by the way, Cleaver next, Cyril does after. Um, after that, Death Stance is very good. Mob Not Mortius is very good if you need the um, magic resist. You could even go things like tanky items, um, you know, such as Spirit Visage or things like that. And, huh. All right, there we go. You can really kind of go whatever you want, but since it is Aatrox and we are already specializing in damage by building Eclipse first, I would certainly suggest um, going for. Wait, does this guy? Come back here! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyways, though, like I was saying before, these two chumps, three chumps now. Uh, it was originally two chumps, now it's three. So, I'll just dash over the wall real fast. Anyways, as I was saying before, I got triple chump charged. Um, since you're already going into this Eclipse Cleaver build and Cyril does, like, you are building directly to go through people's armor, to do a bunch of damage, right? Like, you are so directly building to do that that I would 100% suggest going for things like Death Stance or Mob Malmortius because you, you want that type of item i mean you could do some goofy stuff too though you could build brick you could build like hole breaker if you're pushing side waves you could build titanic if you're a monster I bet that'd be fun it wouldn't be good but you could do it and i mean we don't we don't talk about stairx anymore stairx used to be like kind of a good item and i haven't seen it in like i don't know I think Riot took it out back with the shotgun, and then, like, three patches ago, and by three, I mean, like, 15, 
And I just haven't seen it built like a single time since then. Wait, oh my god. It's a Hextech Rift. Alright. Can I do anything to Vex? Probably not. So, there is one very unfortunate issue with me trying to split. This dude's 0 and 5. But I play a lot of Garen, okay? And I know exactly what this dude's gonna do if I leave the lane. Garen, in this situation, actually kind of really wants me to leave the lane. Because what he can do is he can clear waves so insanely fast. And you would be shocked at just how fast a Garen with Berserker's Greaves can kill a tower. It is ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous. So I'll be playing right into this fool's hands if I left the lane to his uh, to his enjoyment. Nope. Hey, you ain't fighting me for real, right? Damn. Well, it is what it is. You know, I still got a kill, though, so that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I forgot I bought a second longsword. I was like, can I be closer to this item right now? Dude, I could buy this and I can get Surreal does right now. Did I do that? Am I crazy? I'm crazy. Call me crazy. Don't do this, by the way. Never, never, never do this. Get Cleaver second every time. Okay, you know, I gotta listen to myself here. <laughs> I'm being... I'm being so dumb. I would also never do what I just did in a ranked game, too. This is just normal. I was playing with my friends. So... No idea. Dude, I have no idea how the whole MMR everything works. Because I was playing a normal earlier, and I had, like freaking 880 LP challenger on my team and I'm just like where did you come from dude like get out of here I don't even know if this account is ranked it was funny though it made me laugh all right let's see let's see if the assassin yes <laughs> I didn't need to flash there, but I chose to. Fl oh my god. Oh my god, Draven. Oh my god. I could have just dashed over this wall, but I wanted to flash there and see if I can make sure I got there before he potentially got out. Huh. Well, I guess they forfeit. And I guess that's that game. So, even in, even in, arguably, debatably, perchancely, one of the worst matchups we can think of for how my build is trying to play the entire game, we still dunked it. Comet still did 900 damage in less than a 20 minute game. Scorch did almost 400 damage. That's crazy. Transcendence. Well, this gives us ability haste. We don't really care about the refund. But like 900 damage from a Comet in less than 20 minutes. That's really not bad. Another little fun fact about Comet, if you guys don't know this, is that Comet's damage is what's known as an adaptive stat. So what that means is it's like a it, it's smart and it determines what type of damage it'll do based on what type of damage you are dealing. So if you're an AP champion and you have a bunch of ability power and you, you know, are like building AP, it'll do magic damage. But in my case, it'll be doing physical damage when it hits people. So that makes my comet get stronger and stronger and stronger throughout the game. The more penetration I get and the more AD I get, the harder that comet's just going to keep hitting. So... The fact that it got already up to 900 in this game 
against a champion whose Q button literally makes it damn near impossible for me to ever hit him with a W or hit my, him with my Arcane Comet in the first place? I'm going to say that I see exactly why people are doing this build. <clears throat> so this build is fun. Actually, like, actually really fun. I did enjoy that a lot. I can see why the pros are using it. Um, cause after, you know, now, after, now that I've played it, it makes a lot more sense why it works. And I don't want the one last thing I want people to understand though. Conquer is still very good. It's just that, you know, the way Aatrox is being played right now, most of the time you're going to be in matchups where your fights are not even going to be long enough to get your conquer stacked in the first place, right? Like if you are trying to fight most top laners in the game right now, you're either not trading long enough or you're not fighting long enough to get your conquerors stacked in the first place. One of you is either going to run away or get, you're going to die. Um, so conquer would only really be good in like the tankier matchups or the much more brawling set or matchups where you are fighting for a long time where this setup is far superior as far as uh, poking and just a direct like kill someone as fast as you can kind of build because this lets you hit a couple combos suddenly they're half health from your scorch and your comet and then you can just kind of kill them so hope that all made sense if you all did enjoy this video make sure you leave a like and a comment it really does help me out if you want to you can also subscribe for more content like this and as always thank you all for watching and i hope you have a wonderful day peace